Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know that a lot of you guys on my channel are from my How I Started a Business at 16 video. So today I wanted to add something else to the business series and I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I created my website using Wix with like the setup process and everything for my new false eyelash brand. A huge thank you to Wix for sponsoring this video and of course, if you guys wanna create your own online store as well, make sure you check the link in my description box. Without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial so you're gonna click the link in my description box click sign in you can use Google or create a new account to log in create a new site and then you're gonna pick whichever type of site you're making so in my case we're doing an online store I'm gonna be showing you how to use the Wix editor there are a huge multitude of templates that you can choose from for whatever type of store you want to make. This option lets you have so much more freedom with what you want to do. You can drag and drop everything however you please, like with the text and images. And Wix is super awesome because you pretty much just have a fully functioning website now. You can add your own photos and your products and that's literally it. Personally, I like to add a lot more to this. So I'm going to show you an in-depth of exactly how I do everything because Wix has so many amazing features that you should totally take advantage of so first here I am changing the color because I don't want to go for the golden black that the default came with I'm going kind of for like a pink and light blue pastel vibe for this so now I'm gonna change my header so that it matches the font of my branding which is like a cursive and I love that Wix lets you actually upload your own fonts so I'm just dragging this one in that I downloaded from the internet so then now in the fonts, I can just go to the one that I uploaded and voila, it matches my logo perfectly. Now I'm going to my website, preciousbykate.com, which is for my jewelry business. And I really like how I set this one up. So I want to draw some similarities and add that to milkylashes.co. Now I'm going to add a search bar to my website. Ironically, I can never find it. So I use the search bar in the add tool and then Wix points out exactly where it is. So I'm going to add that to my site so any users can search the products or pages that I have on my website. She is not that cute, but good thing you can design it exactly how you want using Wix editor. And here I'm just editing what the search results page would look like. So here I was just playing with the font size as well as what kind of font I wanted because I was not sure honestly. But I did eventually stumble onto Futura, which is actually the font that I use on my YouTube videos. So I decided to go with that one. Sometimes I forget how to do stuff on Wix, so I just search it up. I wanted to figure out how to change your font theme permanently so that all the text would just be Futura. Basically, you make a text box and then you pick what theme you want it to be called. So this is just paragraph three. I changed the font size. You can make it like bold, italic, whatever. Save the theme and then now you can just call up paragraph whatever you named it under to pull it up. I also changed the text color when someone hovers over it, like for example on Precious by Kate it'll turn light blue when someone's hovering and when you're on the actual website it highlights it to pink. Next we're adding a members area so basically people can be a member on your site and log in and have all their account info stored here which is really useful if you're creating an online store. So I just kind of customized what I want it to look like. Obviously we're going for that whole pink vibe. Because I saved the theme of my text earlier, I could just change it to paragraph three or whatever it was, which really just streamlines the process when you need to change a lot of different text. Here you can personalize and see what your customers would see on their orders tab. So I'm gonna add my own homepage photo later, but I didn't have one yet, so I was just gonna put my products for now. I'm adding text, which is like shop all lashes now. I decided to make a new heading font, which is kind of like this italicized English, and then I made the strip color into a light pink, so it kind of pops a little bit more. I just grabbed this strip, I pasted it right down here, and I wanted to expand it so I can make like an about us tab. Oh, this part's really awesome. You can add your own Instagram feed and sync it in actually. Next, I'm going to change the subscribe form because it's so ugly and I'm going to brush this by Kate and seeing how I did it on here. So basically, I changed the colors around. I got the customer's name and email address and I said that if you join the mailing list, you can get 15% off and you only get the good stuff, I promise. I also wanted to create a pop-up to join the mailing list, so you go to add and then I just added a light box is what it's called. I changed the colors around and also added our milky stickers. I added the form field to also collect the customer's first name. 
So every time the customer submits, you wanna actually send the email. So now I'm gonna show you how to do the automation. So it sends an automatic email to the customer. So you're just gonna create your first automation. Instead of a thank you email, it's gonna be a welcome email. I'm gonna edit the email now and I want the subject line to be like, hey, blah, 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 open me for 15% off. And Wix has a really smart feature where basically you can use dynamic text. So if the customer told you that their name was Kate, then you can put, hi, Kate, and they'll just replace it every time, depending on what the person's name is. Next, I'm going to the contact us page and they pretty much have it all laid out for you. You can just change the font a little bit and add colors or whatever. Okay, so now we can actually start thinking about adding what products. So you just go to manage products. You can also do this from the Wix dashboard, but you can also do it from the editor. So once this loads, you're gonna add in your products. So they have some fake ones here. You can just basically delete them all or you can just go to like new product digital or physical obviously mine's gonna be physical because they're falsies i'm dragging in all of my product photos which are my lashes import it and call it the angel lash you can also add ribbons like new arrival or bestseller things like that here you can add a product description and i recommend doing something that's kind of fun and describes your item basically captivate people to want to buy it here you can also track the inventory and add the weight of your item it's really awesome that you can also create subscriptions. So for example, if you wanted to sell a lash every month that would just automatically get shipped to the customer, you can set that up. Once you saved your changes, you're gonna wanna add a payment method. So I'm gonna be accepting most credit debits, PayPal and Alipay. And then you just wanna confirm that you're not selling certain prohibited items. So here I just bought my site and upgraded it to the premium. I have the yearly business basic plan and I'm buying my domain, which I get for free the first year. You also get access to free Google ads and Bing ads. Wix also makes it really easy to buy like a little mailbox. So mine is going to be hello at milkylashes.co just so it sounds like a lot more official and legitimate. So now I'm going to be setting up my shipping regions, which is the US as well as internationally. You can choose what type of shipping you want to do. So you can do like free shipping, flat rate by weight, or I like to do USPS calculated one because it's just super accurate when you're shipping things out. I'm in my store settings now because I want to change my little favi cone, which is that little like logo next to the browser tab. So I'm just going to change it to my logo. We're going back to the site's actual design. We're going to add a wish list so that basically people can save their favorite items. And it's just a really easy way for the customers to organize so long as they have an account. Now I'm on the cart page and I wanted to find the related products tab. So basically it's going to display all the related products to what's in my customer's cart. That way it can attract them to buy even more items if something catches their eye. And I'm also going to do the same thing for the product pages. It's important to look at the mobile view. So that's what I'm doing now because there are features that might not look like how you want them to. So I'm just moving stuff around and making them make sense to me. The last feature I really wanted to highlight was the sales pop app. So you can just search for it right in the Wix app market and basically it'll show you like who is adding what to their cart and what someone might be buying because it definitely helps your customers to know that your site's legitimate and drives them to also want to order. So here is the final version of the site, milkylashes.co, which is currently displayed already on Google. So here we have our homepage and this is like the banner screen. 10 seconds in, the customer will be prompted to join our mailing list for 10% off. You can see our little sales pop at the bottom left, which just urges people to shop, obviously. And then there's the about us section. And of course, here's our dynamic Instagram feed. It's just like all laid out. And then our mailing list and footer. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of my video. I hope that you found this helpful. If you have any questions about making the website or if you just have any business series videos that you want me to do about my businesses, make sure to leave them down below. Comment below what kind of business you wanted to create. Make sure to click the link in my bio to set up your Wix store today. Follow me on my Instagram right here if you want to stay connected and updated with my life and business stuff. I love posting on there, interacting with you guys. Stay safe, drink lots of water, and tell your loved ones that you love them. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!